Hey guys, it's day 21 of virtual learning. Today, JJ got a new bike, and so we're working on pedaling. Um, we're trying to hurry and get some bike stuff in, um, and then we're going to build a blanket fort. So I'll show you a picture of that here. You gotta steer, you can't go in the grass, you gotta steer away from the grass. All right, go. Turn your wheel. There you go, pedal. Wrong way, that's backwards. Push forwards. <laughs> We're still working on the pedaling part. We're learning, aren't we? That's for when you get bigger. You can move your seat back. Pedal. Turn your wheel so you don't go in the grass. There you go. There you go. Pedal, 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 pedal. Go, 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 go. Very nice. Very nice. Here's our news. Take a moment to read it and then we'll read together. Nice work, here we go. Good morning, class. It is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. It is cloudy. What is your favorite color? My favorite is blue. Great job. All right, let's find some sight words today. We have G-O-O-D, good, good, good. We have it, I-T, it, it, it. We have is, I-S, is, is, is. We have it and is again, Ooh, careful. Make sure you're working on the sight word video for whatever level you're on. And if you're on your first grade sight words, feel free to send me an email and I will send you all the first grade words to work on. All right, ooh, tricky W word. W-H-A-T, what, what, what? That's the word what. Then we have is again. Let's see, ooh, your. Y-O-U-R, your, your, your. This one has the sight word you in it. Pretty cool. Next we have my, and my, 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 my. It's my, and then we have is again. Great job. All right, next I wanna go through and I wanna find all the punctuation, okay? We always start a word or a sentence with a capital letter. We always put finger space between our words and we always end with punctuation at the end of our sentence. Here is an exclamation mark. Here is a period. Here's another period. Here's a question mark. And we ended with an exclamation mark. Great job. All right. So on my news, I said, what is your favorite color? I would love for you to write your own news to, and let me know what your favorite color is. If you do that, feel free to send me an email with a picture of it. Send me a video of you reading it. You can send it to Miss Cassidy's phone, email, anything. But I want to see your news, and I want to know what your favorite color is today. All right, let's do some calendar. Howdy, y'all. Today is day 21 of virtual learning. It's Thursday. Today over to Thursday. If today is Thursday, I know that yesterday was Wednesday and tomorrow is going to be Friday. Let's do our days of the week song. Here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Good job. All right, let's talk about our month. In our news, we talked about how the month right now is April, but the next month is going to be May. Let's do our month's macarena. Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, 
November, December. These are the months of the year. Bum, bum. Great job. Okay, so it's April right now. Next week, it's going to be May. And May is your last month of kindergarten. So on May 20th is your last day of school, and then you're officially a first grader. What? How did that happen? Um, so there's going to be summer school, parents. This is for you. There's going to be summer school in July, hopefully, okay? And so if you want to go to summer school, you will be a first grader in summer school. Then school's going to start back up in August, and you'll be a first grader. Oh, my gosh, that's so exciting. We're going to try to do some fun stuff for the last um, month of school and some stuff to get you guys ready for first grade, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's look at our calendar a little closer and see if you can figure out the number and the shape that we will have in our calendar today, okay? So look closely. Here's our pattern. The pattern's been continuing with sphere, sphere, cube, cone, sphere, sphere, cube, cone, sphere, sphere, cube, cone. And down here we have sphere, sphere. So let's look. What always comes after two spheres in a row? Let's see. Hmm. Two spheres, a cube. Two spheres, a cube. Two spheres, a cube. So I think a cube will be next. What do you think? Hmm. Interesting. And what number is going to be next? Hmm. I see 20, 20, 21, 22, 23. All right, let's see. Ooh, you got it, dude. 23 and a cube. Nice work, friends. All right, let's say our whole date. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Today is Thursday, April 23rd. 2020. Amazing. Let's change our day up here. Gotta find my eraser. There it is. All right. So the four stands for April because April is the fourth month in the year. The 20 stands for 2020. So our number for the day today is 23. 23. A two and a three. There we go. My numbers are looking a little crazy, but that's all right. I'm trying my best. Okay. Now, let's go through on our calendar and let's count. Can you count with me, please? All right, we're going to start at one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Wow, we are almost all the way through the month of April. Great job. Can you believe we've almost had a whole month of virtual learning? That's pretty crazy. All right, let's go backwards. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off. Good job. All right, next, let's look at our post-it notes. All right, hello, post-it notes. Okay, I'm gonna bend down a little so I don't get my head cut off. All right, so we had 20, today we have 21. That's a lot of numbers. All right, I'm going to do the, the post-it game, so I would like you to close your eyes and see if you can figure out what number's missing. So close your eyes, we're gonna figure out what number's missing. Open your eyes. What's missing? Hmm. I notice it's here, but what number is it? Hmm. What number goes right here? Tricky, tricky. After 10, I know comes the number 11. So I think it's 11. Let's see if I'm right. <gasps> did I get it? I did. Oh, the funny name for 11 is 10-1. It has one group of 10 and one extra one. Now, I have a couple questions for you about the number 10. What number is one more than 10? What number is one more? Hmm. One more. 12 is one more. Good job. And what number is one less than 10? Less means smaller. One less. Or one less than 11. Is 10? Ah, I gave you the answer. All right, now, new question. New super tricky question. What number is 10 
more than 11. Think hard about how we can figure that out. What number is 10 more than 11? Hmm. 10 more. One way I could figure it out is going, by going like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 21 is one more than 11. Okay, now what number is 10 less than 11? I could count backwards 10. Let's try that and then I'll show you another way. Here we go. So 10 less. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1 is 10 less than 11. Okay, so did you notice that 10 more was right here and that 10 less was right here? Yeah, the columns go by 10. So look, 1, 11, 21. If you look over here, we can count by 10s. 10, 20, and eventually right here will be 30. So that's a new thing to think about. All right, before we go, let's go over our 3D shapes, okay? I'm going to show a shape. I want you to say the name and then see if you got it right, okay? Here's the first one. What shape is this? Remember, it's the same this way, this way, this way. This is a cone. Good job. All right, next. Boom. What's this one? Cube. Very good. All right, how about this one? What's the shape called? Cylinder. What's the shape called? This one is a rectangular prism. And you know this one. That's a sphere, not a ball. It looks like a ball, but it's a sphere. All right, good job today, guys. Hey, guys. So I want to review our die graphs again today, and then we're going to take these words after we read them and put them into sentences and read them in the sentences. I'm super duper excited. All right, first, let's look at C, H. When we see C and H together, it says ch, 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 like chuck. Awesome. Can you say ch, ch, ch? Nice. All right, next is TH. When we see TH, it says th, 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 like throat. Can you say th, th, th? Awesome. All right, next is SH. SH says shh, 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 like when you shush someone. So can you say it? SH. Good job. All right, and CK, easy peasy, it just says ka, like back. And it always comes at the end of the word. Can you say k, k, k? Awesome. All right, now let's read the words and then we'll put them into some, some, some sentences. All right, let's read the first one. Ready? Ch at. Chat. Awesome. Let's read the next one. All right, here we go. Ba at. Bath. Great job. All right, let's read this one. Sh ed shed. All right, and let's read the last one. Er rock. 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 Rock on, dude. All right. I'm going to take these words and I'm going to put them into some sentences for you. And these sentences have mostly sight words. There might be a few words that you have to sound out, but you can totally, totally read all of these. And I might have to scooch these. Uh, okay. Bear with me because I tried to write my sentences first and so now I'm having to squeeze my words in a little bit. But that's all right. It's okay to make mistakes. You can just erase and try again. All right. Got that one. I'm really excited about this. Hopefully you've been working super hard on your packet and um, you know watching all the videos but also spending time with your family maybe getting some exercise I know we've been trying to uh, go for lots of walks and ride our bikes um, blow bubbles outside lots of fun stuff like that I'm having a little bit of trouble squeezing my punctuation in but I know that you guys will be nice and uh, not get you know too frustrated. All right, I got all the words in there. Let's read some sentences. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna scooch this down a little bit. Okay, we've got four sentences to read. Okay, let's read the first one. 
I like to chat with you. I have a capital letter, finger space, and a period. All right, let's read the next one. The, ooh, sound this word out. The dog, dog, the dog had a bath. Must have been a dirty dog. All right, let's read the next one. Ooh, that's one of our W sight words. That's a question word. I know this is a question because I see a question mark at the end. All right, so let's see. All right, here we go. What is in the shed? Hmm, do you have a shed at your house? I don't have a shed at my house, but if I saw a shed, I would want to know what was in it. All right, another W question word. This is the word why. Why do you have a rock? I'm constantly asking JJ that. He loves to collect rocks. So I always say, why do you have a rock? Great reading today. Keep up the hard work. I love you guys. I miss you guys, and I'll see you later.